Good day, YouTube. Down to bricks here. What you building? Well, I've started to build my Force Awaken set. So I've started with the smaller set. So this is set 75099, Ray Speeder. And it is made up of 193 pieces and comes with two minifigs. So I'll take a quick look at those minifigs. So the two figures, we get Ray and we get Uncar's Thug. Let's take a look at the Thug. Look at that detailed silver printing there on the torso and legs. That looks great. And the printed head there. And over on Ray, look at that printing. That is some really nice printing. Torso down onto the hips and leg. And I really like that hood piece so I guess it's more of a head wrap look at those goggles the printing on there that is fantastic that is so detailed just looks great you also get a hair piece for Ray as well just to show you that hair piece very nice new hair piece that we have there and just to show you from the back the back printing on the thug and also on Ray and we do get double sided face printing as well. With these smaller sets of course there's not a whole lot to it. Let's just have a look on the side there. I like how we get all the different attachments here on the side. There was quite a few stickers with this set. I think there's um, 10 stickers all up so you can see it's got one there, one there, one there, and another one on the back there. And it's, I think it's got even another one again on the other side. So you've got a little display panel in there. So there's that's another sticker from the back though. Looks pretty cool. This side here again, two stickers there, 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 and another one there. We get the little stud shooter here in the dark red so it's good to get them in that color I really like the construction of this set we get some nice details nice greebling in there that just adds to the set now on the back here you can actually rotate that and it opens these side panels up Let's have a look from the front and of course we can open these right up and just in there you can see how that works there just by turning turning that we get a little storage container in here and I've just got some studs in there just for the shooters I would have liked to have somewhere to store Ray's hair I think that's probably one of my main grots with this set is um, obviously it won't fit in that container there so if you're not using it on Ray there's really nowhere to put it or vice versa if you have the hair there's nowhere to put this hood piece so that's a, a bit of a shame there's nowhere to store that. Well I think it's time to do a comparison so I'm actually going to compare it with another speeder that we got this year and it is the flash speeder so I don't want to really zoom the camera back too far so let's try and get it in one shot here like so now I really did like this flash speeder it is of course set 75091 it's 312 pieces so it's over more than a hundred pieces more than Ray speeder so it's quite a bit bigger set as you'd expect for that type of speeder but both great sets and it's great to be looking at two Star Wars sets that actually have a bit of color to it so I really like that as well and my pick out of these two well I have to say I'm just gonna sit on the fence with this one because I really like both of them but which one do you like best guys let me know that but I think it's time now to give you my final thoughts on Ray speeder so my thoughts on this set, I actually think it is a great little set. It looks good. Definitely in my book it's display worthy so I will definitely be putting this one on display. 
really getting me excited for the movie. But overall, I just think Lego did a great job from what I've seen in the trailers for the movie. I actually think Lego's done a pretty good job here. As I said with the minifigures, I think they look great. That hood piece is fantastic. The fine detailing on that is top notch. And for a cheaper set, I really think it looks good. It's got plenty of play value there that where you can be swooshing it around and shooting your stud shooters. So I think the young ones will really enjoy this as well. And overall, I mean, Star Wars sets are expensive, but being a small set, it really is one of the more affordable sets for the young ones. So I think they'll be pretty happy with it as well. But I'd love to know what you guys think about Ray Speeder, so please let me know in the comments below and we'll have a little chat. But please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with all my latest videos. But for now guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.